The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen Royster is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Imagine having the ability to use your innate positive energy to dissolve the stuckness in your life, whether it's emotional, physical, or spiritual, through this incredible dynamic show. Get ready to be transformed from Dr. Jen's live guided healing meditations and intuitive readings and unveil the power of connecting to spirit, the angels, and your higher self. Dr. Jen is passionate about helping you find the answers you're looking for through an inward journey that will strengthen your connection to spirit and help you trust your intuition. Now, here's your host, Dr. Jen Royster. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the show and happy February 2018. I hope everyone had a moment yesterday to really enjoy that rare super blue blood moon eclipse because I was on the East Coast so it was really bright and sunny for us but we were watching it anyway through the NASA feed and if you were on the West Coast or Hawaii or over where it was still you know dark outside you really had a show it looked incredible um, I really paid attention to the energies flowing with that moon and they're still happening today still going on and it's been quite interesting the activity I've had uh, in the last 24 hours actually with what we're going to talk about today and working with Archangel Metatron. Metatron is a lot of fun to work with. He doesn't come through for me all the time. Uh, but when he does, it is put your seatbelt on, you're going to get busy. I mean, he's just like that. All the angels have these attributes that really, um, for me personally, motivate me, which is what I love sharing with you. And it just really continues with the inspiration that they're bringing through. Um, like I've said before, if you're new to the show, I've always worked with angels. I've seen them as a very young child. They've helped me through incredible things that I've been through. Uh, and I just can't imagine not having them as really best friends in a relationship with them. They, they have controversy with some people out there and some people are afraid and some people, you know, with religion or different belief systems, you know, I'm not saying one's right over the other. I'm saying how it's worked for me and it's incredible. Now, of course, when you're working with angels and right now, right now what we have is a gift because a huge gift of this energy that's coming through to really help us move into the dreams that we have the higher frequencies of positive living happier living healthier living but in order to do that we do have to purge out all that old stuff and that's really been what a lot of 2017 was about so my archangel metatron came through for this month in particular February I found it interesting as I started to really tap in on what he wanted me to share with you today and they just never cease to amaze me all this time for my whole life here I have been working with them and they still continue to just inspire me when I just don't even know and that you know sometimes it's just all the way up to the last minute and it's whether or not you trust, believe, and you are tapping into your intuition. So I'm very much about helping people, teaching people how to trust their own intuition and how to tap in in your unique way. So I share how it is for me. That's what I'm doing. And they draw me through interesting insights and synchronicities. Now Metatron, let me tell you a little bit about him if you're not familiar with this Archangel. He's very fiery, uh, a lot like Archangel Michael, a lot of gusto when you feel him around, very energetic. And, you know, when you read and research about him, he's, he's known to be one of the only two angels that was a human before. That's not usually the case. So it depends on what historical writings you're reading. So in general, on a show here like this, I can only kind of briefly go over them. But he's one of the two. 
one of the two that lived as a man before becoming an angel, which is, you know, whoa, I thought they were completely different. Well, Metatron's one of them. He was known as Enoch, and he's a scribe. So now that he is an archangel, he really oversees the Akashic Records, the um, your life book. You know, he records everything that happens. He's also a great angel to work with when you're trying to tap into those records and you're trying to understand why am I here? What is my purpose? What will motivate you? Things like that. So he's interesting that way. He's, he's incredible that way. He's also known with the energy of transformation and the, numer the numeral, numerology, there we go, of 1111. So you might see him associated with that as well. He, he has a way of just pointing you in a direction where there's nothing you, there's nothing you can experience but endless possibilities. You feel motivation, you feel ready to go. And it's interesting because we feel that with Michael as well. Michael can clear out energies and things like that, and he can take away the fear. And I find that working with one or the other, you're gonna feel that fire and that motivation, but you're also gonna feel a fearlessness when you work with them together. And Metatron just, it's, it's time. It's time to acknowledge how hard you've worked. He came through with, it's time to move forward into the new energy and the, and the motivation that is there to really take you to the next step and level. And you may feel a little bit, uh, if you're feeling a lot of overwhelm with this, I don't want people to feel like, oh no, I'm behind, I'm, I'm, I'm not keeping up, or why do I feel all these symptoms, or why do I feel so heavy? You may still be purging things out that doesn't mean you're going to be left behind anything. Just purge it out, get rid of it, you know, because the more you let go of things that are holding you back, you know, fear of the unknown, fear of trying something new, uh, whatever that might be, maybe you are, uh, you really want to go in a new direction and, and you're just so, I don't know if I can do it, you know, things like that. Those are fear of success, fear of not being perfect, little things like that, fear of just not knowing if it's going to turn out. Am I making a mistake? That is very low self, you know, confidence. Metatron helps w with igniting that sacral chakra, which is about creativity, which is about moving forward. And that's been very active since December, I believe. It's been a couple of months that that started really waking up. But then your third chakra comes into play, and that's your solar plexus chakra. And in the confidence, it's starting to lift up into, you know, more of the third, where you want to be confident and trust your decisions. You want to not second guess yourself so much. He is a wonderful angel to work with with that. He's also a wonderful angel to help you with those heavy burdens and baggage of energy that you might feel you can't seem to shake off. And that's where his vehicle or the macabre, it's what it's called, I believe, in some of, uh, some of the ancient texts, well, it's more of an ascension vehicle. If you thought of this car rolling up and it says, hey, hop in, I'm gonna take you to the fifth dimension, and you've been stuck in this third, this is it. This is the angel for that. I love that analogy because we can wrap our brain, oh, okay, yeah. And I've worked with clearing and purging with the Merkaba, um, kind of the Merkaba cube. It's this, it's very sacred geometry. It's really cool stuff, long story short. But what he brought to me was how to work with it work with it to clear and purge, which for some of you, you feel like I've got to get rid of this so I can keep going. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about why the energy is so good right now for you to move forward and do something that you've always wanted to do, uh, go in a different direction. I mean, it has been, but really, you know, February 
first marks the first day past that major moon energy that was the end of last year. So this is great timing if you had anything that you felt was residual to clear off. Metatron is wonderful for that. Now, he showed me a slightly different way to work with this Merkaba vehicle, this Ascension vehicle. And I'm going to share that with you because that may help you with exactly what you've been needing uh, to, to clear off whatever seems to be stuck. And it's not like they're just going to do it all for you. It's going to help you see, oh, that, that's it. The, you know, as soon as you can see a different perspective sometimes, and I know you'll have, you'll know, you can relate to this in some way in your life. There's that aha moment like, oh, that's it. Why didn't I see that before? Why couldn't I figure that out before? And that's what I'm talking about. He can do that. And I, I'm telling you, I, I've been just spinning. I've got some stories to tell you with what I was going through this morning and last night and all night with this angel. He's always fun to work with. It feels like you go on a marathon, but you're not tired. Um, it's pretty cool to work with him. And so I'm excited to share with you in the show what's happening. So he's got a lot going on in my mind right now with this. And we're about to go to break in a moment. So if you are just tuning in, we're talking about how you can live fearless. You become limitless when you're fearless. And this angel, Archangel Metatron, can help you and catapult you and take you to those places you want to go. And it is an amazing adventure with him. I know I'm saying it like that because that's what it's like every time I work with them. I just love working with these angels because, I mean, you can do it without working with them, but I don't know. I don't know about you, but I just find this to be just such a companion, support, and keeps me going no matter what. All of them are like that for me. So I'm looking forward to what we can do with Metatron in this show and what we can look forward to in February. We're going to go over a few points energetically about February on why this is such great news coming in, because this is a good month, guys, if you want to tap into that. So we're going to share that. We have the video live streaming going on uh, my YouTube channel, Jen Royster, or on my website, jenroyster.com. If you want to check it out and join us there, we have chats open there. And we're also live streaming on Facebook through Transformation Talk Radio, um, their page, their live streaming. And I've shared that on my two pages, the Jen Royster Show page and the Dr. Jen Royster page. So you guys look that up you can find it that way i hope everyone is ready and got their seat belts to put on for this show today because this guy is just so much fun to work with if you were feeling worn out beat down by life he brings an energy that just takes it to the next level so stay with us we will come back right after a short break and we're going to get started and dive into this topic i'm dr jen we will be right back Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit jenroyster.com for more information.
And welcome back to the show, everyone. I can't wait to share with you about Archangel Metatron. He is so energetic. Now, let me tell you a little story about how I've experienced him so you can get an idea of what I mean by this. And then I want to share it with you. So I've been, you know, going back and forth with sleeping one night and not the next, right? Because I always have that activity near a moon. Well, everything was fine for the last couple of nights, you know, sleeping pretty good. I was actually quite surprised. Well, this morning I wake up and I honestly wasn't sure if I was going to be here for this show because that's how sick I felt. And I thought, whoa, I'm pretty, I'm pretty good about purging and cleaning and all that. What in the world's going on? I mean, you know, the massive headache from, you know, where and just downright ill. And I thought, oh no, what's happening? And so I, this was about four o'clock this morning. And so then I just said, okay, all right, this show is incredible. I'm excited to share it. But then I thought, that was when I thought I had all the information. And then he brought a major load of information in this morning. So I went from feeling like I was coming down with something pretty serious to within it wasn't a full hour maybe 30 to 45 minutes loaded with energy like i am now and completely all of it gone and so i just worked with him i said okay i'm gonna trust you i know that you've got this for me i know i know you can do this and he started to just do that purging that clearing and what it was i even saw what it was what it was was just old residuals, you know, you feel like you've cleared everything out. And so I'm telling you guys this because if you've been working really hard spiritually, you're working to clear, you're working to heal, you're working to be, you know, improve and ascend. It's an ongoing, it's, it's ongoing. It's not like, oh, you've cleared and you're done because we're continually ascending up higher and higher. Well, with that energy that came through yesterday and this last week with that moon energy is best way to describe it that shifted big to where there was a lot of higher frequency here all of a sudden so if any of you were going through some strange stuff in the last couple of days or even overnight honestly i've you know looked to see if it was this you know i mean i had to make sure i wasn't have wasn't seriously ill here this morning but it was ascension, whatever you want to call it, a symptom, I guess. Because to go from one frequency, even though you might be pretty high and you're feeling great, and then you go up all of a sudden to another one, oh, it could kind of hit you like a brick, which is what was happening. So I listened. I said, oh, you know what? That's right. You can do that major clearing. I haven't worked with you in a while. Let's do this. So we went through a clearing, and he showed me a different way. And... That is what happened this morning within 30 to 45 minutes. I, it, was, it was just wham, it was gone. Now, I can only share what I experienced with you guys, and that is true, no kidding. And I was actually surprised. I went, oh my gosh, this is huge, this is exciting. And so what it is with, with this angel, and the reason it's so important right now is because of the February energies being perfect. It's perfect to lay your groundwork to do what you came here to do, to move forward, to change. But you have to clear off that old heaviness that's going to get in the way. And I thought I was clear too, guys. I want you to know nobody's perfect with this. But I mean, I thought I was. So the way I used to work with this angel, and you would see it, it was pretty common where when you worked within that Merkaba cube, for clearing and it would do a spin. If you'd imagine yourself inside of a cube and it's spinning clockwise. And I always worked with energy as a counterclockwise to untangle stuff and then go clockwise to blow it out of you, so to speak. That's energy. But he would work with it clockwise and it would just come through the crown chakra and come through as an energy to clear through the chakras and clear the energetic debris and just give you a clean slate and refresh you so you could move forward. 
at that point you still have to do your groundwork because he can clear it out and reset like a reboot on the computer but if you're not doing the work to keep moving forward it's going to clutter again now that's our responsibility well it changed a little bit how he wanted to do that cube clearing and it made complete sense when I started listening. So here it is. When you go, well, all right, let me rephrase that. Hang on, guys. This is just kind of deep to try to do on a show like this, but I'm doing it anyway because I really want to share this with you. I want it to help you. We are working more with heart-centered decisions now, not from the mind. We're working to make choices from the heart, connect with our heart and let our mind follow heart choices. When we work with our heart, that's working from our higher self versus a mental analytical, you know, oh, you know, ego, you know, all that old way of making choices. That's been a little bumpy for a lot of people because they feel like they're throwing logic out the window. They feel like it's crazy. It's, it's changing my life too much and it's not secure and feel safe. That's exactly right. We'll probably take you out of your comfort zone. The reason I brought that up and gave you that little bit of backstory is because the cube, he showed me a different way to work with it. It was amazing for the energy now. When it comes through, it doesn't come through the crown chakra, it comes through your heart chakra first. You want it to come this way. Go up to the crown chakra, connect with it, pull it back in, and it's basically leading the way. Think of it this way. That was incredible what that happened. And then it went through and it was, it was just a completely different experience, guys. Um, take it or leave it. If this is too crazy for you, find what works for you. That's okay. All I can do is be as honest as I can be and share with you what I experience. And yes, it'll be a little much for some people. Some people just won't be ready for this. Some people won't have anything to do with this doesn't matter I'm here to share a new way of doing this okay so if it's coming through the heart first now it's coming through where your higher self you know the soul part of you the true self the part of you that knows why you're here it's leading the way so it goes up as the leader now and then goes up connects with everything, the mental, all of it, your communications as it's coming back through those chakras, all the way down, that's the shift that was different. It used to come through the top, just go straight through. It just says, that's not the, that's not how this worked this morning at all. And I was so excited. I went, I've heard of something like this before, but it just didn't relate, you know? I hadn't experienced it personally. So this was super good. Now I'm explaining it a little bit because after the break, we'll, we'll give it a little go. I'll walk you through it a little bit better. I wanted to give you an explanation of it. And if, you, um, if you're missing part of it, you can always grab the archive to listen to the whole thing, what I'm talking about. So this completely changed the game on how fast and how quickly I manifested being very, very ill to within 30, 40 minutes being completely full of energy. Uh, right after that, I took Emmy for a walk. I mean, we were doing the morning jog. I mean, we couldn't get enough. We couldn't go fast enough. I couldn't explain to you the joy I felt flowing through. And Metatron can, man, he can just motivate you and lift your spirit like that if you feel down. So I want to share that with you and give you something there that you can use whenever you're feeling like that. So I don't have enough time before we go to break. So when we come back from a break, we will do that. Now, after we do that, I'll walk you through it a little bit better. I wanted to give you a heads up on what that is. Then we'll take you through it. We'll take you through it when we come back from the break. So if you can, focus with me there when we come back from break. If you've been feeling anything at all, okay, I don't care if it's a hangnail to a major migraine headache, okay? Do it with me so you'll know it. And you'll have it in your tools so you'll understand this angel. This angel's amazing. 
I'll give you more insight and more information about him. And then also later in the show, we are going to talk about how this applies and how this is good timing. So I don't want to do this show without working you through this clearing with Metatron because it's February 1st. And so now you can take it and fly. And that's, that's the beautiful part of this. So stay with us, guys. I'm Dr. Jen. Hello to everyone in the chats, if you're there. Uh, great to have you guys with us. And we will be right back after the break. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit jenroyster.com for more information. Welcome back to the show. Okay, we're talking about Archangel Metatron and how he can help us and the guidance he's given us, which is this clearing we're going to do is the biggest thing. He says, you've got to do this first. And about February's energy and why it's so important. So that's what we're doing. So we've been talking about it. I gave you a little bit of lead up. If you need to go back and listen to the archive, you can do that just to understand what I'm saying. But right now, let's do that meditation that energy clearing so this is going to be an energy clearing meditation and hopefully all the technology will behave itself and i'm going to keep my confidence with that and yeah we have history with that sometimes heads up carter just so you know <laughs> whenever i've done this on the show before we have sometimes interesting things happen but we're going to do it anyway and i have confidence we're going to be fine so Close your eyes for just a moment, if you can. If you're driving or whatever you might be doing, you know, if you need to stop or go back and listen to this later. But just, 
I want you to take a deep breath and just kind of settle yourself. And I wanted you to think about the word oneness. What does oneness mean to you? What does it mean? Does it mean just you? Does it mean your connection to everything? Just relating to you and the world and how you're part of it? Things like that. And then I also want you to think about the word thankfulness or gratitude and what that means to you. Feel the energy of these words. And then another one is excitement, motivation, inspiration. Those words. Think of all those words. I know that's a lot of words. But think of the ones that are relating you know, and resonating for you. And just think about those words. Think about how they feel when you think about them. Okay? Now, Metatron is motivational. He's inspiring. He can reveal and help you see things from a different picture and perspective. He's, I mean, all the angels can do that. I want you to think about your heart chakra, which is right in the mental, the fourth chakra, right in the middle of your chest, right beside your real heart. This is your energetic heart. And I want you to think about and focus your energy with those words right there. Because we're going to draw in through the heart chakra the energy and the essence and the healing and the clearing that Archangel Metatron can bring. Okay? And you're doing that. You might feel a flutter. You might feel warm. You might feel it. He's very fiery energy, so sometimes you do feel warm when things are clearing off. And as you focus there, I want you to think about a gold. It's almost a white gold or silver gold, you know, very light colored energy. If it was in a color and it was floating through the air, that's what you'd see. And draw that in as you take a deep breath. Draw it in, but not through your mouth. Draw it into your heart. Draw it into your heart. Just It's coming and flowing in that way. Give that a moment. Give it a moment. Yeah. And now let it keep flowing in, and it just keeps building, and it's building, and it's growing, and you can feel the essence of what you truly need right now in this moment to clear away the stumbling blocks, the roadblocks, the fears, whatever's in your way. Okay? Now bring it in with another breath, as deep as you can, all the way to the belly. Let it fill you and let it rise all the way up through your fifth chakra, which is at your throat your sixth chakra, your third eye, let it keep filling up, all the way up through to the crown chakra, your seventh chakra. Now it's filling and coming and then it's going to just come out like a, it's almost like a fountain. Think of that. It's flowing and coming back all the way down and recycling back and it will go all the way down through the rest of the chakras, all the way down to your feet. You're completely immersed in this amazing energy. You're within the cube, the Merkaba cube now. Take another deep breath. Let it clear anything that you might feel, whether it's a physical discomfort. You may feel emotions coming up. Let it go into this beautiful golden silver elixir that you're in. Let it wash you away. Let it wash it all away. It's going to just kind of cleanse it. And you're going to start to see it moving in a clockwise spin around you. You might even feel it. It's okay. If you need to sit, please sit. Just let it spin it all out. It's just going to completely clear all those energetic cords. You might see some that you're afraid to cut. That happens sometimes if it's somebody you need to let go of in your life or you're not sure how that's going to go after you go your separate ways, things like that. 
Hmm. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to cut the cord because sometimes those attachment cords, even when people stay in each other's lives, better to detach so we're not pulling and draining one another. Just let it all clear out. We're going to start with a clean slate here going into February and the rest of this year for manifesting in a very different way. And let that flow through you. Now it's going to slow down here in a moment. Let it continue to spin as much as you feel that you need. And then it will slow down naturally when it's all cleared out. It's, uh, it may take longer for some of you than others. Sometimes we get a little freaked out by the spin and we have to stop and then go, okay, wait, that's okay. I'm going to let it go. That's just fear coming to the surface that you're not sure what's going on. And it is, it's perfectly normal. I've had that happen to me before. It's okay. And now as we're clearing that out, now it's moving, slowing down. If you need to keep going, you keep going, but I'm, on a timeline with the show right now. So I have to slow down here and open your eyes, open your eyes. Now you might still feel what you were feeling. It's still purging off, but you're going to go about your day and really take note and see how you feel within 30 minutes to the rest of the day. I just gave you a timeline on how it worked for me this morning. It could be different for you. Don't feel like, oh, it didn't work if it didn't work in the same timeline. Because you have intention to release and let go, they support what we need when we need the help and we're being proactive. Doing a, a meditation like that, you're being proactive with clear intention of what you want to do. They're happy to help you do that very, very quickly. Now, if you find that emo sometimes this happens with emotions, okay? If you find that emotions are just, oh my gosh, I can't stop crying. I don't want that to concern you. You need to purge. Crying is a natural releasement of the physical body to clear energy. It may ignite that way. When I've done energy healing on people before, they'd come into my office, they were, well, I'm, I cried for five days after that. Good, they needed to. They needed to get that out. It doesn't always come out that way. It can come out in different ways. But if that's happening, that's a quick example. I don't want that to alarm you, okay? Crying is nothing but good for you. It helps you release tensions and energies. That's what it is. That's what dreams do. Some people will just dream like crazy after something like that too, because it's releasing it through your dreams and your subconscious. You may feel a spark of energy and go work out like you've never worked out. Careful weekend warriors don't pull a muscle, okay? <laughs> Just go and enjoy your life. Now, Metatron infuses motivation, just so you have a heads up here. Now we're going to talk a little bit about that. He infuses uh, motivation, inspiration, joy, joy in everything you're doing. You have motivation to do the things that you enjoy more. He'll give you motivation to take action to do the things you enjoy. Um, it's, you'll feel very connected. He's one of the angels that understands what it's like to live as a human. And he really, he gets that. So for me, I feel like he's easier to feel that connection uh, with and just the motivation and inspiration that you can feel from one moment to the next all of a sudden is just amazing. Now, he's also very good. Remember now, he can help you figure it out. If you're really looking to tap in and figure out why you're here and you really want to get onto that soul purpose, he's great with creative uh, projects. Remember, he's a scribe, a writer. Now, you don't have to just be a writer. Anything creative, anything that's coming up like that, he's a creative support that way. He's also, because of his high energy, um, he can also give you a 
focus when your mind's spinning in 50 different directions. Great for um, hyperactivity things that, you know, like children try and get them to focus. I'm not even gonna put a clinical label on that. I'm just gonna say if there's one that has trouble focusing in school, or maybe you're an adult that way, or any of the like, or you just can't, you know, just energy that's excited and it's spinning everywhere. He can help you channel it and motivate you into a way that will help you process it and it will be very productive. So as you're spinning that out and it's slowing down, we have to go to another break. I feel like the timeline in this show is on a completely different frequency today. I feel like every, every segment has been like two minutes long, but that's because this is just so awesome. So we're gonna take the last break when we come back a little bit more about the energy for February and why we were doing all of this. Stay with us, I'm Dr. Jen. You're listening to The Jen Royster Show. You might be watching our video live stream. We will be right back after the break. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit jenroyster.com for more information. Welcome back to the Jen Royster Show. I'm Dr. Jen. This is our last segment. So what I want to go over in this one is why were we going through all of that information with Metatron? And it's about February right now. It's great. I gave you a way to meditate and work with that angel to help you clear out what might be holding you back. It's like bringing in a bulldozer and clearing it out like strong when you work with him. 
So don't hesitate to use that one. Now, here's what's going on in February. It's endless possibility energy, okay? This is be fearless and become limitless. That is your affirmation for February. Be fearless, become limitless. That I love that. I am fearless, therefore I am limitless. I love that. Now, there's a solar eclipse. We just had the lunar eclipse, but there's a solar eclipse coming in, and I think it's around um, middle of February, like the 15th. I don't know exactly the day, but it's right in the middle. And this one kind of falls, follows, okay? It follows the energy that we just had in this last one. And here's the thing. This is, this is the energy that will help you free yourself. It will help you free yourself so you can show the world who you really are. It will help you be your unique and unusual self. Yes, you know, that's the kind of way I feel right now, really. Um, you're going to feel free. Freedom is a wonderful word for February. Freedom to live the life you want to live. Freedom to make those choices. Freedom to finally let that past go and be done with. Okay, so that's a really, really good energy for this this week, this year, this month. There we go. Now, another thing is it's very favorable to help you in relationships, whether they're, you're wanting to draw in new relationships. I know, not just romantic, but that is on the table here too. But all of them, career, anything that you want to work on, release, draw in, shift, this is a good energy here, very positive energy. There's a Venus influence coming into this too. And you know, that's all of good stuff. So make sure that love is at the focal center of everything that you're wanting to do with your intentions, because love is the energy that heals everything. It's the power that can change. It's unlimited. So you have endless possibilities. You have an opportunity to step your feet forward into that life that you dream of to heal, release, let it all go, not be afraid to be seen, not be afraid to be heard and not to be afraid to be who you are. So February has great energy. This particular angel was great coming in for this month because sometimes it's like, man, Gosh, I want to start that new project. Gosh, I want to really change jobs. Gosh, I really want that relationship in my life that I dream of, that kind of thing. You know, the sky's the limit here with this kind of energy because they don't do it for you. Now remember, angels don't do everything for you. It's about you taking action. This angel's easier to work with. I find him easier to work with Maybe because he does relate more human-like. I'm not sure. I don't know what that is. That's the way I feel him. But it's like you can't be down in the dumps when he's around. It just won't work. You can try to hold on to your sourpuss mindset, but it won't last long because it's just you just can't when he's around. That's how much frequency he can shift and lift. So I really encourage you to work with a meditation where you allow this clearing through the heart not from the top. Let it go from the heart. Think of it being heart-centered versus the mind-centered because it's going to just bring it in a whole new way that's going to make more sense now for you. It did for me, and I loved it. I absolutely loved it, so I could not wait to share it with you. The, the month of February has a lot of positives in it. You're going to see a lot of rep a lot of revelations. You're going to see a lot of things still opening up, coming to the surface, changes, you know, you're going to see big things changing. You're also going to see some things falling away that just don't want to change. People, things, situations, whatever. The biggest thing I see holding everybody back that really truly is on a spiritual awakening path is afraid to let things go that need to be let go of. Uh, as that was really a weird way to say that, but you have to let people choose for themselves. You have to do what's right for you. 
And you have to know that no matter what, no matter what, when you trust and just allow and flow with it, everything changes for the better for you. Everything does. I mean, it is a completely different experience when you just allow yourself to flow with the energy that's happening. The resistance and fighting it and trying to hold on is what is feeling heavy and it will continue to feel heavier and heavier like cinder blocks at one point. If you try to hold on to something you really need to let go of. That fear is probably one of the most uh, difficulties that people have with moving forward and changing their life. Fear of the unknown, fear of letting somebody go that they need to let go of. It's just holding everything back. You need to trust in something. Okay, so nobody can choose for you and I'm not trying to do that. I'm trying to give you some encouragement for those that really do want to change. This is the time to be fearless and become limitless because it's your time. It's your time to rise and shine. And I'm very thankful and I have a lot of gratitude that I can work with angels, that I can share these messages with you. And if they resonate for you, wonderful. If not, I hope that you truly do find what you're looking for in a way that works for you. I respect all ways of how people approach their life in a spiritual way, or whatever it is they do. I just want you to know this is who I am and what I'm about. So. With that said, I hope that the rest of your day, you have a lot of energy to get accomplished what you set out to do. If you had discomfort, you feel relief. If you needed a pick me up because you were sad, I hope that you found joy and you grabbed onto it and you take it for a ride and just realize life is really a beautiful gift and we came here to learn so many things. And I just want to say, I appreciate you. It's awesome to be here with you every week. And I, I don't even know what else to say, except thank you, Archangel Metatron, for showing up today, completely changing the way my day started and then how I could share it with you. So if I seem like I got a lot on my mind, it is because I'm still feeling like I'm on this amazing, exciting, journey with this angel today and I can't wait to see what else I'm going to accomplish today. So with that, I want to say thank you guys. We will be here next week on the Jen Royster Show. Thanks for everyone that was viewing or watching on Facebook or on YouTube. It was great to see you guys there and thank you so much for being with us. And if this is going to help anybody out there, please share the show. Uh, the network has wonderful shows for a lot of people that could help inspire the world, and I appreciate them as well. So thank you so much, guys. We'll see you next time on The Jen Royster Show. Namaste. You've been listening to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life. Remember to tune in each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern Time on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Dr. Jen Royster is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Imagine having the ability to use your innate positive energy to dissolve the stuckness in your life, whether it's emotional, physical, or spiritual, through this incredible dynamic show. If you've missed any part of this show or any other show, visit www.jenroyster.com and transformationtalkradio.com.